So how do these contractions affect fertility or pregnancy? During embryo transfer in IVF, studies show that excessive uterine contractions at the time of embryo transfer can reduce implantation rates. The embryo may be pushed out or fail to implant in a stable endometrium if the contractions are there. In early pregnancy also it's not good, some contractions are normal, some especially around the time of implantation. But frequent or uh, strong contractions in the first trimester may increase the risk of implantation failure, early miscarriage, bleeding, so on. In later pregnancy, premature contractions contractions can lead to preterm labor or cervical shortening, especially in high-risk pregnancies. Uterine irritability is often seen in women with infections, fibroids or a history of uterine surgery. How can we detect it? Through ultrasound or through transvaginal probes. These also uh, can be used. Management is that progesterones are given which relax the uterine uh, muscle especially in IVF cycles it helps to reduce the risk of miscarriage and preterm labor muscle relaxants and anti-spasmodics are also given then triggers are uh, avoided like I said uterine manipulations staying hydrated managing infections and inflammation timing of the embryo transfer is also very critical because uh, it's ideally done during periods of minimal uterine activity if you wish to understand more about this please feel free to contact us thank you